Fake cops are notorious for taking advantage of their good acting skills to impersonate actual police officers. But what happens when real cops catch them in the act? Here are four different cases of fake cops who got caught red-handed. You on the job somewhere? I can't tell you, sir. Okay. I can't tell you. Okay, I'll get my supervisor on the way if you want to talk no to him. No problem. Okay. I don't need to talk to him. This is Jeffrey Scott Schultz, someone who claims to have been on the force in Georgia for 27 long years. On the 8th of March, 2017, Corporal Lowe noticed an overspeeding car that passed a stopped school bus. When Corporal Lowe pulled him over, Jeffrey Schultz tried to get out of the ticket by pretending that he is a fellow police officer. But what he doesn't know is that the attempt is about to go horribly wrong for Mr. Schultz. Good afternoon, Corporal Lowe, Dorville PD. Didn't see the school bus stopped on the side of the road. Didn't see it, not at all. Because I just passed a 41 that was down here and I was focused on those officers. No courtesy? And I've written a thousand tickets myself. Are you with somebody? Uh, right now? Yeah. Yeah. Who? Why would I exchange that information? Well, well, then I'll write you a ticket. If that? you won't tell me who you're with, I'll write you the see ticket. The bus. Okay. I'll be Officer back with Bo. you in just a minute. I didn't see the bus. Okay. If you don't want to tell me who you're with, that's fine. I'll I issue the I citation. I can't even confess guilt to what I did because I didn't you see You don't have it. to confess guilt. You want to tell me who you're with or not, that's fine. I'll just write the ticket. Schultz, here's your driver's license. Well, I appreciate you, man. You on the job somewhere? I can't tell you, sir. Okay. I can't tell you. Okay, I'll get my supervisor on the way if you want to talk no to him. No problem. Okay. I don't need to talk to him. Okay. I mean, what's that difference? What, what difference does well, it make? Almost 29 if, if, years if of I'm policing. I'm Georgia Post. Yeah, and I've got 27. Okay. But after 27 I've never, years. I've never. I've never had someone treat me like that. Treat you like what? Yeah, like you're treating me. I've seriously. never had anybody not say, Dude, sir. Be a nice guy. I said, I'm sir. I'm with so and so. No, I don't say that. Okay. That's not how I operate. Even when I ask you who you're with? Yeah, I can't tell you. Okay. Okay, I can't tell you. Okay. So that's, there, I'm not going to tell you. That's fine. You know my, who I am. No, I don't. You have my driver's license. Yeah. Does GCIC return and tell me that you're a popo? No. No. It will not. It doesn't, but you riding with your blue hat on. I got my hat on. But if you don't want anybody to know who you are, I wouldn't wear the hat. Coordinates doesn't May matter. 1st, 2017. Have a good yeah, day. I didn't see a bus. It's on the side of the road. It's all on HD video. We can go down right now. I'll show it to you. I can't. I have to have a second unit here, so his video is on. Coming, right? Yeah, he's so coming. Please, yeah, show me. I, I, I will. I'm okay, just sit in the bus. I, just, I definitely just, am. Just I, hang tight in the car. I'm good. He'll be here in just a minute. If you don't mind, I just like to stand. Okay. You're not armed, are you? I'm not armed. Okay. And I wouldn't harm another officer for my life. Well, I don't know that you're another officer. You've never run into an imposter in your 27 years, have you? You can't tell when you're talking to another. Yeah, then I ask them, are you with somebody? And they say, yeah, I'm with Gwinnett S.O. I'm with Hall. I'm S.O. Then I can't tell you. That's all. It's all good. Not only is Jeffrey Schultz unable to get out of the ticket, but he also seems to be getting into a troublesome situation. In general, when officers are asked if they're with somebody, they let their fellow officers know that they're active police officers by telling them what department they're currently with. Jeffrey Schultz's refusal to give up this information along with the GCIC database showing no active duty clearly indicated that something was not right. He wants to look at the video. He's He won't tell me who he's with, but he says he he's popos. Yeah, I just said, I'll look at it in the car. It's fine. He said second officer needed to be here. He won't tell me who he's with. I didn't he says, see I'm bus, supposed to know. Supposedly, you didn't see a what? I didn't see the bus he's talking about, so okay. I'd just like to see the video on that. Okay, but well, he doesn't have to show you the video right now. You know that. No, no, I'm offering. No, I'm no, offering. No, 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 he asked as a courtesy. He asked as a courtesy. Did not see it. Okay. And I told him I didn't see the video. Gotcha. I mean, I didn't see the bus because there was a 41 down the road. Yeah. And I was focused on that. And when he stopped me, I I, I told him I'm post certified. I'm no, you no, you didn't, sir. You said I just passed the 41. And you mm -hmm. said, do I get any courtesy? I said, are you with somebody? That's, that's well, what I said. Well, yeah. But, but I don't, I, number one, I don't want to announce my department on tape, mm -hmm. on video. I don't I do not do that. Okay. It, it's just, it's not You know, you don't have to. Just slide your ID no, to I, me. I don't actually have it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, I was already on top of moving. I got you. That's, I mean, that's that's what it was. He was he just came to a stop when I was rolling by. I was at full speed. Well, now, they car the middle lane stopped. I mean, my speed was probably what, what 40, 45? And speed oh, yeah. limit's 35. Well, whatever. I'm, yeah, I mean, honestly, I didn't see him, and that kind of figures to me why I didn't see the bus, because it, because he had just come to stop yeah. when I was literally past.
passing. So but he even gave me a salute. My, my my bad. I mean, I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. That Look, else. I've never written a cop in 29 years. Well, Your attitude's what's got you, and I still don't even know if you're a cop. Curtis, well, you let, let you look at the my video. Certification in here, okay? No certification. I need to know who you're with. Really? Yeah. Why? Because anybody can be certified and have been, have lost their damn job. Oh, I haven't lost a job. Well, that's very employed. Dude. I, I don't think your approach is really helping me. My approach. Please remember that so everything is on. explain it to him later. I'm sorry. All right. I'm out. Good luck to you. Take care of your girlfriend. I, I'll take care of this. I'll take care of that. This encounter is not going well for Jeffrey Schultz, and he knows it. The officers know what they're talking about and suspect that even if Jeffrey Schultz is certified, he doesn't currently hold a job as a police officer. Jeffrey Schultz tries to end the whole thing and quickly leaves with his ticket. Little does he know what's heading his way. How you doing, Ms. Schultz? Good, how are you? Came to talk to you about that ticket. You don't have to worry about it because I have a warrant for your arrest for impersonating a police officer. Step away, step away, officer. step away and place your hands oh, on the man. car. I'm post certified, I got my credentials in the car. Place your hands on the hood, police sir. <sighs> Turn around. Please do not do this. Warrant's already been signed by the judge. My fiance is inside. I would like to communicate with her. If you could escort me in so I can tell her what's going on. No, we're not going back in the house, sir. It's operational safety. Can, I, can you do it, sir? Um, please? Do you want me to go on? It was a courtesy. Dude, I'm post certified peace officer. I've saved lives. I've, I've, fuck, you want to let her know? I can't believe you're doing this to me. You did it to yourself. I turned everything over to my captain, figuring you might file a complaint. No, I He started looking complaint. into it, and he had my post instructor look into it, and he said, go sign those warrants. So, step back here, sir. Can you please let me resolve this, what I'm in the middle of? No, sir, we have to go down with Come on, man. Why do you have to treat me that way? Seriously, why well, do you have to treat me like this? Because you misrepresented yourself. Look, I'm a Georgia certified peace officer. I've but saved, I can't I've tell you what life. department I'm with. Have a seat in the I car. I told you, I cannot tell you. Because there is none. Have a seat. I've got your post history right here, bro. Okay. Have a seat in the car. Have a seat in the car, sir. All right. I'm gonna give you Can you drop the window for me, please? Can you please adjust the cuffs? They're, They're already on and I've already locked them down. Look, Lo, come back. Go back up Lo, you think I'm going to hurt you? No, I'm going to make sure you're not. Just have a seat in the I car. I mean, can you adjust the cuff so I can sit right? Just have a seat Dude, in the car. Dude, get in the car. We're going to put you in the car. Man. Corporal Lowe was right on the money in this case. Jeffrey Schultz was certified but wasn't currently working as a police officer and so was impersonating a police officer. Interestingly enough, Officer Lowe gestures to the papers in his hands and claims that they're Jeffrey Schultz's post history. This wasn't possible because the real post history is 1,300 pages long and filled with complaints against Jeffrey Schultz, all from the short time that he served in multiple police departments. At the time of this encounter, Jeffrey Schultz had been fired from his most recent job with the Hapeville PD. If you're shocked to see how someone like Jeffrey Scott Schultz can impersonate a police officer, wait till you see how Casey Donovan Williams was arrested for impersonating a police deputy. Please do well, not ruin my career. Please, please, please. I, okay. think, I think you did that kind of on your own, Casey. Please. All right. This is Casey Donovan Williams, age 26, a former Pickaway County Corrections deputy at Whitehall, Ohio. On April 13th, 2021, Whitehall officers were dispatched to the area of Collingwood Avenue and East Broad Street for a call regarding a man impersonating a police officer. When officers arrived, they found a man, later identified as Williams, asleep in a black and white Crown Victoria with red and blue lights on it. According to police, the vehicle appeared to be part of a traffic detail while AEP employees worked on nearby power lines. Here is how it all went down. I can't get a hold of the chief from Richland Township, which is Glenmont. Um, it's Richland Township. Yeah. So it's it's a township police department no, or it's the it's village, a village village in Richland Township. Yeah. Okay. It's a village in Richland. But you have no but you have no ID from them. No, all right. No, 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 and no. have you ever been sworn in by them? I've talked to the chief. No, no. no I'm asking you a direct asked. question. Have you, you been sworn in now, by this them? It's very important you answer this correctly because being a former police officer or someday a current police officer, you know if you lie in this situation, you go directly to jail. No, I'm not. So I'm going to put not, that right listen, up. Listen, I'm not. So trying, if I'm you not, are telling me you are a police officer right now, is that I'm, what you're telling no, me? No. 
So no. you are not a commissioned police officer? I have spoke with the chief. That's not what I'm asking okay. you. I'm asking you one question. Are you a commissioned police officer through the state of Ohio? I have an OPUNA certificate. That's not what That's I'm asking. That's not what I'm asking I'm, you. I'm explaining to you. I have no, 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 you're not. You're not answering the question. You're avoiding the question. It's very simple. Are you a sworn police officer anywhere in the state that of Ohio with any department? Not currently. Okay. Williams was impersonating a police deputy on a special duty detail in Whitehall. A Whitehall officer who was aware that there was no special duty assignment in the area, pulled Williams over and questioned him about his authority and legitimacy as an officer. That's right. the Not the, well, well, I'm, oh, Not I'm, I'm unsure. I'm unsure. I'm unsure. You can't be unsure. You can't be unsure. You would have to raise your hand, swear, okay. sign a form, and you would get I've talked to paperwork the on that. Okay. Hello. Talking to the chief is not enough. Uh, yeah, the chief of police is here, so... So he's not commissioned with pay play. So that he's not going to get back. Okay. Uh, one second. Would you be willing to speak to the supervisor from the company? From? From Watchman. From Watchman? Yes. Is he an actual police officer? You are an actual police officer, correct? Uh, okay. Okay. Yes, he is. Where, where, are, you where are you commissioned at? It, it doesn't matter. He's not here doing anything. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care if he's... Uh, the superintendent of the state highway patrol that's irrelevant to the situation okay. so uh, you can talk to him if you I want Rex, but i got no yeah answers. i live in an area that doesn't make any money you know and i i found a good paying job and i was told by the guys like hey we'll take care of a commission we'll get it taken care of it's no big deal i come out here yeah you know, i was told hey you can start make some money that's all i was trying to do please do not i'm I'm asking you for courtesy, man to man. Please do well, not ruin my career. Please, please, please. I, I okay. think you, I think you did that kind of on your own, Casey. Please. All right. Um, the Pickway County. You knew you didn't work for Pickway County. You displayed that badge. All right. You're out here acting in a law enforcement capacity, displaying a badge that you have no right to have, or a facsimile of a badge. That's not even a real badge. Yeah. You were aware of that. Yeah. Okay. It's not, it's not real. Okay. So. All right, you're going to be charged. Oh, seriously? I'm serious, okay? Now, we're going to be nice about this, okay? And we're going to take you over, and you can take your gun belt off, and you can set it on the hood of that car, okay? okay? Um, and we're going to take you in. We will not, we don't have to handcuff you. This officer is going to pat you down, all right? And we'll let you out, all right, on a summons, all right? Now, are we too far for me to... We, we, yeah, we're, we're, yeah, we're, Listen, okay? Listen, you're completely deceptive. Here's the problem. Here, here's you don't understand that right now we can charge you for improperly handling in a vehicle. I can charge you for impersonating a police officer. All right, I, there's tons of charges. What are you charging? Me? Here, well, probably the impersonation of a police officer. So, so the right. best thing to do right now is to just take off the belt. And I'm All right, so let's step over here and take care of that first. Smith, right here, right here. Right. Take off the belt, and then I'm gonna search. You don't have anything else on you, do you? No. All right. Just no, no, no. Just don't don't reach in. All right. You you yeah. should know the know. drill. We will, we will get a chance. I'm going to call the owner of the company. Williams tries to talk his way out of a clear crime that he's committed, but it's already too late. Apart from impersonating an officer, Williams was also wearing a belt equipped with a taser and a handgun. Such acts of impersonation are dangerous and could cause real harm to others when untrained individuals like Williams carry firearms and pretend to be officers of the law. Yeah, take care. Oh my God. All right. And it's loaded, right? Okay, we're not gonna. Take all his stuff, and you can throw it in my car. Okay. I'll put it in the back of yours. So. I'm just throwing everything in the back.
The police found a loaded AR-15 style rifle, a ballistic tactical vest, and a Pickaway County Sheriff's coat from Willem's vehicle. And on the deputy belt, they found a loaded handgun, a taser, two pairs of handcuffs, pepper spray, and a flashlight. All of this made it far worse for Williams and added to his charges, which now included improper handling of firearms. Williams also resigned from his position of corrections deputy in September 2020. But if you think Casey Williams was foolish to impersonate a police officer, wait till you find out about Daryl Henderson. Watch him get busted as he works on a job while impersonating a police officer. Do you work there or you just only do this? I work there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Reserve, you know, reserves are everywhere. This is Daryl Henderson who was found working at a construction site in Norcross, Georgia. He was stopped by officers of the Norcross, Georgia PD and claimed to be an officer with the Talbotton Police Department. The officers found it odd that someone from a different city's police department would be working on a construction site in Norcross and decided to look into his credentials to see what was what. Hey, just trying to figure out who you worked for. Oh, Talbotton. The city of Talbotton? Yeah. Okay. Y'all got a person here? No, I just work for this crew, wherever they go. Okay. That's not a city I'm familiar with. I didn't know we had a uh, hard time jobs from another. Yeah, where, we work that everywhere. Look, where though. is that at? Templeton, South Georgia. I'm not trying to make. I'm not trying to make a big deal out of it. Yeah, yeah, we work all over. It's just super, uh, super strange because it's that? usually either us or the SO. I mean, y'all can do it. It's just that wherever they go, all over the state, I go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just got your uh, like police ID. Yeah. Just put everybody at, at ease, and we'll. Yeah, I go. So it's a city. Yeah, city of Calvary. And you're I actually retired from the cab with it. Just to have my certification. Alright. Just the city of Tableton. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Do you work there or you just only do this? I work there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Reserve, you know the reserves are everywhere. I got you. Daryl Henderson. All right. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, man. Thanks. Daryl was working on a construction site as a police officer and had everything from a uniform to credentials to back it up. What do you think? Call Tableton. I mean, you could. You got his name. One, three, one, confirming that was a code four. You flipped out. Code four. Code four. I'm going to take a look. I'm going to take a look. The problem is that the police car is a personal vehicle. Another thing that caught the officer's eye was that Daryl was using his personal vehicle even though he was out on a job in a different city. The officers decided to call up Talbotton PD to verify that Daryl Henderson worked for them. So he's no longer a police officer there? Fortunately, did. Okay. February 8th? 5950 Hickory Springs Sheriff. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Hey, so actually supposed to be out the street, though. I just I just talked to them and they said you were terminated February 8th. You don't work for them oh, as a really? police officer. Damn. So. Man, right. What's going on with that? Uh, I actually went to reserve for part time. Part time to reserve. So who can we call? Uh, I guess nobody now. I'm terminated. Come on, man. <laughs> that was like a week ago. It's like 10 days ago. So who are you working for now? Huh? Who are you working for right now? Just under my own certification now. Okay. I don't. I don't. But you. But you identify yourself as a police officer for that city. I really don't. I put this stupid vest on, man. It still got the patch on there. Okay. 
So you're lying to me then. Huh? So you were lying to me then. No, I'm actually reserved for them, but I guess they terminated me. No. You, that's, that's, lying. Uh, that's the part that he's saying that you're lying about. That you knew that you were terminated. But you're uh, you're acting under the... Right. That you okay. work for them. Right. Correct? What are we supposed to do with you? The officers found out that Daryl Henderson was terminated from the Talbotton Police Department in February and no longer worked for them, which meant that right now, Daryl was impersonating a police officer. I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a job I can start all over with. I can start all over with. So we're going to have to take you in for that. All right. Mind taking up the belt? Today is a fiber optic installation. Okay. And, um, and you're doing this for uh, Georgia or Atlanta Gaslight or what? No, Atlanta Gaslight is supervising us, and this is why we have an, our, our officer here today. Because who hired that officer? Uh, we did. Okay. Yes. How, how'd you get in touch with him? Um, there's a guy downtown that he's an officer for Georgia Power. Okay. And he's the one that arranged him to be out here with us today, providing right. us. Um, you know, like, we ha we need an officer when we're at a light. That's how we hire him. Well, him doing security is no problem. Okay. The issue was he was wearing a uniform that said he was a police officer. Okay. And then when I asked him about it, he told me he worked for a city that he doesn't work there. Okay. And so, I, I mean, we got no choice of that in the matter. I got I to gotta take him to jail for that. Oh. So he identified himself as a police officer for some other city. And that's what we, we hired a police officer. That's right. what we did, yeah. So I guess well. you're just going to have to call whoever that is that you hire. Have to send someone else to you. We, we got to take him out of here. According to Georgia law, if a person holds himself out as a peace officer or other public officer with intent to mislead another into believing that he is such an officer, commits the offense of impersonating an officer. Since Daryl presented himself as an officer and even provided credentials to try and prove it when he wasn't one, he intentionally misled the Norcross police officers and so was rightfully arrested for impersonating a police officer. If you think Daryl Henderson tried to mislead police officers into believing he was law enforcement, wait till you find out about Leroy Thompson. Watch him tweak his story time and time again in front of the officers as they figure out what he's up to. Have you ever been arrested before for impersonating an officer? I've not. I've been arrested. I think the charge not was, was it, the charge wasn't impersonating an officer. I wasn't doing the prison transport yet. It was for uh, a lawful use of a uh, police insignia. Uh, this is another case of police impersonation where Leroy Thompson, the impersonator, was spotted in a Verizon wireless store wearing a bulletproof vest, carrying a handgun and a taser openly. He was interrogated by Detective David Snyder, along with Detective LeBlond, about his golden officer badge and the equipment he was carrying. They said, I just got back and I said, let me come get this real quick. Uh, All right, man, my name is Detective Snyder. Um, obviously, okay. you know, we've, we've been out here talking to you for a while. I do want to read your rights to you so you're aware of them, okay? Right. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you can say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions and have him or her with you during questioning. Okay. If you cannot afford a lawyer, uh, one will be appointed to you before questioning if you wish. If you decide to answer questions without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop answering at any time. You understand your rights? Yes. All right. So what, you had a question for me? Hey, what's, your, what's your last four you're sold for? That's my badge number on there, too. Okay, go ahead. You had a question for me, you said? Uh, that was why I asked if I was on arrest right here. No, you're not under arrest right now. Um, I, I, but I do want to just verify a couple of things, okay? okay? Obviously, we came here because we got a call that there was somebody inside, looked like a police officer, but didn't have, you know, all of the, uh, the, the the badges or anything for anybody locally. So, you know, from time to time, we get people from out of county. 
Yeah. So we came by here obviously to try and figure that out. Yes. You do have a badge on that says yeah. officer. Usually you said I have my work shirt. It's just that I was explaining to him I came from North Carolina. I'm from Jamaica. It's 42 degrees up there, so I have a sweater, my work shirt, and another shirt on because it's cold. And then this to get somewhere. Usually it's underneath, and I have my work shirt showing. Yeah. Okay. So that, that's why right. it's. Right. But obviously, I mean, you're you're here in Florida. It's not. Yeah, I just got it, back. It, yeah. Right. It's not yeah, cold. Yeah, so. Yeah. So. I, was um, I, I spoke to your supervisor. He said, you, you don't even live down here. Why Why are you down here? Uh, my mom lives off on my. You can just tell me. You don't have to. You don't have to. On my Florida Ida's license, it's. Parsons Street, Port St. Florida. So I decided to stop to get my phone, head there for 12 hours because I have to go back to work and get some sleep and then head back to Melbourne. Okay. So that was my, that was the entire reason why I'm even here. When asked about his work, Thompson changed his story twice, which gave rise to more suspicions about his intentions and his story. It was clear that Thompson initially wanted the officers to think that he was with a federal agency transporting prisoners because that's exactly what he told them. He later changed his story slowly, revealing parts of it as it suited him to try and get out of the mess he was in. Okay, your boss, I, I talked to Robert, he's your boss. He said you had told him you were going to Melbourne. I, I, I was gonna stop in Palm Bay. Palm Bay, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then I came down here because my mom called me out. I can't even see the call log. I understand. Come down okay. here. According to Robert, if you go into a place like this, and obviously that rig comes right off, why don't you just take I've it off? I've never heard that. Yeah, not, I've never heard that. It's not even in the policy handbook. So he's never told you that before, that you're not allowed to go uh, into when you're not working? Robert, personally, no. Because I've never. Let me ask you this. I, I don't want to get hung up on no, semantics, I, but okay, no problem. has anybody ever told you at any point during your training, was it, in, it included in your training or in any documents or anything you've ever seen, that when you're not coming to and from work, you're not allowed to go inside open carrying a firearm because you had a gun on. Yeah. What yeah. kind of gun was that? It's, it's a Glock 17. Glock 17. Yeah. It was loaded? It, it is. It is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, obviously, yeah. The, the detective yeah. over there removed yeah. it yeah, yeah. for now. I, I forgot. And then you had a taser on, too. Does, is that? Yeah, we, we use taser because so we transport inmates. And so that taser works? It's in it's a yes. full function? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. In your training, at any point, did anybody nope. ever tell you when you're not in the actively working like you like Robert explained if you're transporting somebody yeah you have to obviously you have to stop and get gas yeah, something, something breaks like down you got to go into a store something like that but right now you're not doing that I get that the only thing that referenced that is in regards to the G license when we were briefly going over <clears throat> because uh, you have a G license I do it's it's regulated by the Department of Agriculture so some of the things are Similar in regards to what armed security guards okay. do. So we briefly went over. So is a G here. license the same as a concealed carry license? Uh, no, it's not. It's but different. As, as I was, I was. Uh, it's hard to explain. For us to work as prison transport here in the state of Florida, we have to have a G license, or they couldn't hire us to do prison transport. Right. So that's the only reason why we have the G license. So you currently, right now, as of today's date, which is the 22nd yeah, he, of October, has my G license. You have an active G license. I think one of these officers have it. Hey, Sarmi. Is that license, the G license, is it active? No record found as a NCIC. What? The officers are catching up to him. And as it turns out, the officer's suspicions were right. Thompson failed to present the G card that he himself explained was required in Florida for his job. Even the G license he was presenting was fake and did not even exist. Have you ever been arrested before for impersonating an officer? I've not, I've been arrested. I think the charge, not was, was it, the charge wasn't impersonating an officer. I wasn't doing the prison transport yet. It was for uh, a lawful use of a police insignia. Okay. Uh, police yeah, because I had I had like a, a glove at the time that had police on it. And how long ago was that? I was 23, I think. So how long? I'm 28, so it's five what years. I think. And who who arrested you? I think his name was Officer Druga. For what? For St. Lucy. But that's the thing. It was the charge was unlawful to put in the of. Police indignia. Let me ask you this: and Do you have any police anything? Mem anything no, you didn't even look because the last time I went to the gas station, they even looked. You don't mind if the, yeah, the sure. detectives look? Yeah. Right. You can just hang out. Just oh, hang oh, up here oh, with me, and I'll obviously oh. you can just yeah. sit unlocked. Yeah. So they even checked. I have no lights, no nothing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I have no lights, nothing in there. Um, quick question: You said the weapon was yours. Personally, 
owned by yeah because it's a it's not a issue. It's, it's a private company so we have to buy all our gear okay including the badge you bought your yeah, gear one yeah, of everything you have on you right now is you have, you have, to, you have yeah. to buy it okay tom spawn's superior also mentioned to the detective that a similar incident had occurred before and Thompson was briefed on where it was appropriate to carry his gear and where it wasn't. He was also informed very clearly that he was not law enforcement, something that clearly went right over Thompson's head. Uh, in the service, we're attached to a Ranger and Special Forces unit. So they, I guess, uh, yeah. So that's all my gear that I just traveled with. My clothes. You're attached to the Special Forces unit? When we were in the, because I'm in the service. I'm in so for the record, just to be clear, you were no, not attached I, I, to 7th Group. You, I, me personally, was not And nobody gave you that shirt. You nobody bought that shirt. Nobody gave me that shirt. I bought You that bought shirt. that shirt. Okay. okay. All right. I just wanted, all right, just okay. being clear. Thompson was arrested for wearing a badge that identified him as an officer and for openly carrying a firearm and taser. Thompson pled not guilty on July 8, 2020, to one misdemeanor charge of improper use of police insignia and two misdemeanor charges of openly carrying a firearm. He was announced guilty and sentenced to serve time in jail and a fine of $348. It is horrifying to see fake and even some terminated cops flaunting police insignia and acting like proper police. But it's good to know that most of these cops were prosecuted for their misdeeds. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.